Do you believe that doing endless crunches will burn the stubborn fat around your stomach? If you answered yes, then unfortunately, you've fallen for one of the biggest health and fitness myths out there. Here's why targeted fat loss is impossible. In Australia, I'm a registered health professional, so I literally get asked this question every other day. It usually goes something along the lines of this. Hey, what exercises can I do to lose my muffin top? What exercises can I do to lose my love handles? What exercises can I do to tone my legs, tone my chest, and the list goes on. The answer everyone wants me to give them is just do a few more crunches, do a few more leg raises, maybe a few push-ups and a few leg extensions, and then you'll lose the fat around your stomach, your legs or your chest, or wherever they want to lose the stubborn fat from. Oh well, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, it's not how life works. Here's both the short as well as the long answer as to why targeted fat loss is a myth. Just like our body stores fat throughout our entire body, for example, stomach, back, arms, legs, organs, especially in and around our stomach, our bodies burn this fat in the exact same manner, so across our entire body. So if we want to burn fat only in our stomachs, for example, doing ab crunches isn't going to make you get a six pack. Like you're going to build the muscle, but you're not going to lose that stubborn fat just by magically doing more ab exercises because an increase of heart rate will burn fat in and around your entire body. Now, I know you didn't click on this video just to get the short, simplified answer. Here's the in-depth explanation to the video title. So fat is stored across our entire body. That much is understood. Fat is burnt as a direct response to our body's energy demands. This breakdown of the fat comes from hormones like adrenaline and noradrenaline, which are both released during any physical activity, which can either be sports, cycling, a jog around the block, even weightlifting of course, and really anything that increases our heart rate. However, these hormones circulate throughout our entire body. And because fat goes through a process which releases into our bloodstream, which also circulates throughout our entire body, you can see how fat therefore is burnt in multiple places at once, not just the specific area you are working out. So let's say I'm doing bicep curls. My heart rate elevates, my energy demands elevate, adrenaline releases and circulates throughout my entire body towards the end of the set when I'm failing and I'm squeezing. No adrenaline releases and circulates throughout my entire body. Fat through a process releases into my bloodstream and again circulates throughout my entire body. Therefore, fat is burnt in multiple places at once and we therefore or I therefore burn more calories. So overall, I lose weight. Simples, really? Now, here's what will happen the more you weight lift and the stronger you get. It's not all bad news. The muscle beneath your fat will develop and get stronger over time. Simultaneously, the fat around your organs, known as visceral fat, will reduce your subcutaneous fat, so the fat around your muscles and everywhere else that isn't your organs, will either reduce or stay the same, meaning over time, you look more shredded, more toned, and overall, more healthy and fit. Very good. In saying that, if I was only doing bicep curls, for example, right, this arm obviously is gonna look bigger than this arm, but the fat itself hasn't necessarily lost more in comparison to this arm, but they will be the same because of the examples I've repeated numerous times throughout this video. If you don't understand it at this point, you are just silly. Flat. So the example that I wanted to give you was a study published by the Journal of Strength and Conditioning Research, where they found that their participants who undertook abdominal training for six weeks didn't see any additional fat reduction in and around their abdominal region in comparison to their control group. 
That's the perfect example because I always get asked that question all the time. So there's your damn answer. And to add additional insult to injury for those people who actually believed this myth or for those people who are unfortunately misled and to add additional icing on top of the cake, the American Journal of Physiology concluded that targeted leg exercises did not result in additional localized fat loss in the thighs. Dun dun dun! Which basically means the leg exercises that they partook in comparison to their control group didn't result in spot reduction, didn't result in further targeted fat loss. Now, usually I like to end these types of videos with giving you pieces of advice that you can take and implement into your health and fitness journey in order for you to start seeing progress with your goals or towards your goals. First and foremost, understanding how women, estrogen, and men, testosterone, plays into the human body. Women tend to store more fat in and around their arms, their love handles, their glutes, their thighs, and men tend to store it around their stomachs most of the time. Now, in knowing that, that is usually the last areas where men and women alike lose their fat from. So as a result, in order for you to start seeing fat loss in those areas, you need to lose fat everywhere else. Nine times out of 10, that is usually the last place men and women will lose their fat from, especially around the kidney and love handle area. So the spot reduction myth has become so synonymous because almost everyone suffers from the love handle, I'll call it the pandemic, because it is actually very difficult to lose fat from that region. So how do you go about achieving said results? One is through the method of body recomposition that I provided to you earlier. Incorporate more weightlifting, incorporate heavier weights. Overall, as you get stronger and your visceral fat, so the fat around your organs reduces, you will overall start seeing a reduction in those areas. You will overall look more healthy and fit. In addition to that, you must be in a caloric deficit. Caloric deficit means you need to be burning more calories than you consume. You need to promote, promote fat loss in your diet, promote fat loss in your activity by just doing more, eating less. That's how you see results overall. That's how you achieve fat loss, period. That's how you allow your body to lose the fat from where you want it. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, if you have any specific questions, feel free to ask them down in the comment section below. I will answer them. If you learned something from today's video, drop me a like, subscribe to the channel. If you wanna debate me down in the comment section below, also feel free to. I'll see you beautiful people in the next video.